السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا from the blessings that Allah Azza wa Jal has bestowed upon the believers, that Allah Azza wa Jal has clarified the religion. And Allah Azza wa Jal has informed us of how we are to worship Him. That is clear to us, that is clarified. Islam is not a religion that an individual has to make up how to gain nearness to his Lord. Islam is a religion that Allah Azza wa Jal has informed specifically how to worship him and how to gain nearness to him. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, in Surah An-Nisa, يُرِيدَ اللَّهُ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَكُمْ وَيَهْدِيَكُمْ سُنَنَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَيَتُوبَ عَلَيْكُمْ Allah Azza wa Jal says in Surah An-Nisa, Allah wants to make it clear to you. And Allah wants to guide you. Like the ways of those who came before you. What was correct, what was incorrect. And Allah wants to forgive you. So in Surah An-Nisa, our Lord Taala informs us. Allah wants to clarify it for us. He wants to make the religion very clear. Without a shadow of a doubt. How do we worship Allah? What are the virtues of certain times? What are the virtues of certain places, what of the virtues of certain deeds. We don't have to make a prayer ourselves. We don't have to invent new things. All of that is clear in the religion. One of the great scholars of tafsir, Sheikh Abdurrahman al-Sa'adi, he said that in this verse in Surah An-Nisa, Allah is informing of His tremendous blessing upon the people. Allah is informing of His tremendous blessing that Allah clarifies the religion for the people. And Allah is informing how He educates His believing servants. Allah educates us. Allah teaches us. Allah makes the religion clear for us. We don't have to make it up or invent it ourselves. This is from the blessings of Allah. He also mentioned that Allah clarified every single thing that we need to know in the religion. What is, what is the good? What is the bad? What are the things that gain us nearness to Allah? Allah Azza wa Jal has clarified it for us. In another verse in the Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal said, مَا فَرَّتْنَا فِي الْكِتَابِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ Another verse in the Quran, Allah said, we, did, we were not deficient in any way in the book. So there's no deficiency in Islam. There's nothing which is ambiguous or unclear. This is from the bounties and the blessings of Allah Azza wa Jal. One of the things that we want to remind each other of today, that Allah Azza wa Jal has specifically in His book, 
and in the sunnah of his beloved messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam has clarified the virtues and the etiquettes of we want to speak about the virtues and the etiquettes of this particular day the friday yawmul jum'ah because as time goes on we find that many people don't have unfortunately we witness that muslims don't realize the virtues of this day we don't realize the importance of this day or we forget about the virtues the importance and the etiquettes of this day so we want to take a few minutes to remind ourselves to remind those of us who have forgotten or those who were unaware about the specifics of this day my dear brothers and sisters before we go into that we want to remind the brothers and the sisters those who are upstairs or those who are behind the wall or those who are outside put your phones away my brothers and sisters put your phones away the youth put your phones away you have a narration and this is from the etiquettes you have a narration that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man massa al hasa faqad lagha the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever plays with the pebbles in front of him whoever during the time of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam the ground was gravel it was dirt so an individual would possibly be playing with pebbles in front of him the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever plays with pebbles in front of him he has lost the reward for juma he has lost the reward so one of the things we've noticed upstairs or outside some individuals while the imam is giving the khutbah some individuals are on their phones scrolling up and down is it that important that message is not going to be there when you leave this prayer my dear brothers put your phones away focus on the reminder from the virtues of this day or from that which we would remind of this day is that juma is from the apparent signs that Allah azza wa jalla has legislated in the religion Allah azza wa jalla said in surah al-hajj wa man yu'addhim sha'a'ira Allah fa inna fa innaha min taqwa al-qulub Allah azza wa jalla said the individuals that have reverence and honor and respect for that which Allah has legislated and that which Allah has made apparent this is an indication of taqwa in their hearts So my brothers and sisters we should have reverence for this day. This is not a normal day. This is not a normal day as we're going to see as we're going to read in some of the narrations. This is a specific legislated day that Allah Azza wa Jalla has made obligatory upon the Muslims. So we must have honor and respect for this particular day. Likewise from that which we will we will mention about Friday It is the best day with Allah Azza wa Jalla. My dear brothers and sisters, Friday is the best day with Allah. Ramadan is the best month. The 10 days of Muharram that we we just finished are the the best 10 days. But Friday as an individual single day is the best day with Allah Azza wa Jalla. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said as is reported by Imam Al-Bayhaqi on the authority of Abu Hurairah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said afdalu al-ayyam 'inda Allah yawm al-jum'ah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the best day with Allah is friday the best day with Allah is friday in another narration reported by Imam Al-Hakim in his Mustadrak on the authority of Aws bin Aws radiyallahu ta'ala anhu the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said and will translate it directly indeed the best days with allah is friday on this day allah created adam on this day adam died on this day will be the blowing in the horn and on this day will be the resurrection allahu akbar my dear brothers our father was created on this day and our father died on this day and we'll see another narration with regards to that Our father died on this day. The blowing of the of the horn will be on this day, yani the day of judgment. The day of judgment will be on this day and the resurrection will be on this day. Then the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Fa'kthiru alayya min as-salat." So increase 
in sending salutations to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So our beloved messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam in this narration informed us, it's the best day with Allah. And our father was created on this day. Yani we are alive because our father was created on this day. And our father died on this day. And the blowing of the horn will be on this day. Do we reflect about this when we wake up on Friday? Do we think about and contemplate about the, trim, the greatness of this day? And the Prophet ﷺ said, So increase in sending salams upon me in this day. Likewise, from the virtues of this day, is that Allah Azawajal has guided the followers of Muhammad ﷺ to this day. The Prophet Muhammad ﷺ said, as is reported in Sahih Muslim, that Allah Azza wa Jal has not allowed the people before Muhammad to celebrate this day. This day was for the followers of Muhammad. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, so, so the Jews have Saturday, and the Christians have Sunday. فَجَاءَ اللَّهُ بِنَا فَهَدَانَا لِيَوْمِ الْجُمْعَةِ So Allah brought the followers of Muhammad and guided them to and bless them with Friday. So the Jews have Saturday and the Christians have Sunday. Allah guided the Ummah of Muhammad to Friday. Allahu Akbar. So we are the first of the nations to celebrate during the week. We celebrate on Friday. The Jews, they have their Sabbath on Saturday. The Christians, they have their Sabbath on Sunday. Then listen to what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وَكَذَلِكَهُمْ تَبَعٌ لَنَا يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ The Prophet ﷺ said, and they will also follow us on the day of judgment. We are the first to have our Sabbath on Friday, and we will be the first to be judged on the day of judgment. They will come after us. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, so we are the last nation in this dunya, but we are the first nation on the day of judgment. We are the last in this dunya, the Christians and the Jews came before us. Musa, Moses والسلام, came before us. Isa came before us. The Prophet Muhammad والسلام, is the last messenger. But his ummah would be the first ummah on the day of judgment. Do we think about the greatness of this day? Do we think about the status of this day, my dear brothers and sisters? Likewise, the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, said, as is reported in Sahih Muslim, خَيْرُ يَوْمٍ طَلَعَتْ عَلَيْهِ الشَّمْسِ يَوْمُ الْجُمْعَةِ The Prophet ﷺ said, the best day that the sun has risen is on Friday. The best day that the sun has risen is on Friday. Then the Prophet said, on this day Adam was created. And on this day he was entered into Jannah. And on this day he was removed from Jannah. And the day of judgment will take place on this day. Now an individual would say, Allahu Akbar, we understand that Adam alayhi salatu salam entered Jannah on Friday. So it is a wonderful, tremendous day. But how is it the fact that he was removed from Jannah? How is that wonderful? How is that tremendous? Why? Because when Adam alayhi salatu salam, when our father disobeyed Allah, Allah could have destroyed him. Allah Azawajal could have destroyed him. But Allah removed him from Jannah and placed him on this earth so that he can repent. Because in another narration, Allah Azawajal said, and on this day Allah forgave him. Allah did not destroy Adam. Allah Azawajal gave Adam another chance. And that's why we live in this dunya. So the Friday is the day that Allah gave our father a chance to return to him. Allah Azawajal repented. Allah Azawajal accepted the repentance of our father. But that's something we also need to remind ourselves and reflect. Because the day in the dunya that people sin the most is Friday. Friday night people are thinking about parties. Friday night people are thinking about clubbing and drinking and alcohol and partying. Friday is the day that Allah forgave our father. How could it be the day that we disobey our Lord? Let us reflect. Likewise, 
from the things that we want to remind each other of on this day of Friday is that the Prophet Wasallam said, there is not an animal, there is not a creature on the face of the earth except that they are very frightened on the morning of Friday, they believe that it would be the day of judgment. Why? The Prophet said the day of judgment will be on Friday. So Allahu Akbar, Friday the day of judgment will be, and you're outside clubbing? You're outside getting drunk? You're smoking weed? Dancing, listening to music? And the very day of judgment will be on this day? What are we doing? ما أصبركم على النار. Allah Azza wa Jalla said, "How patient will you be with the hellfire? How patient will you be with the hellfire? It is on this day. The blowing of the horn will be on this day. The resurrection will be on this day. Do we reflect about this day, my dear brothers and sisters? Likewise, from that which we will remind ourselves about this day, is this day." has a time that Allah forgives our sins. It has a time that Allah forgives our sins. The Prophet ﷺ said, الْجُمْعَةُ كَفَّارَةٌ لِمَا بَيْنَهُمَا وَبَيْنَ الْجُمْعَةِ الَّتِي تَلِيهَا وَزَيَادَةُ ثَلَاثَةِ أَيَامٍ The Prophet ﷺ said, as is reported by Imam Tabrani, Juma, coming to Juma, is an expiation between this Friday and the coming Friday. It's an expiation. It's forgiveness. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, and Allah adds de- three, three days to that. Allahu Akbar. Between this Juma and the coming Juma is forgiveness. And Allah adds from Himself, from His bounties, from His mercy, Allah adds three more days. Ten days of forgiveness for those who observe this day. Not for those who play with their phones. Not for those who fall asleep and just whatever. For those who have honor for this day. For those who have respect for this day. My dear brothers, Friday is like no other day. So where is it in our hearts? أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ لِي وَلَكُمْ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوهُ وَتُوبُوا إِلَيْهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah, nabiyyina Muhammad, waman wala. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is a tremendous day that we have to respect and that we have honor for and we have reverence for. It's like, it's not, it's not, it's un, it's unlike any other day. So where is it in the life of the Muslim? Another thing that informs us of the virtues of this day is the hadith reported in Sahih Muslim that the Prophet ﷺ said individuals will stop. Individuals will stop abandoning this day. Or Allah would seal their hearts. When an individual does not observe this day from the men, when an individual abandons this day, Allah would seal their hearts. In another narration, in the Muslim of Imam Ahmed, the Prophet wasallam said, مَن تَرَكَ ثَلَاثَ جُمُعًا تَحَاوِنًا بِهَا طَبَعَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِهِ The Prophet wasallam said, whoever abandons three Jumu'ahs because of negligence, Allah Azza wa Jal would put a seal on your hearts. If you abandon three Jumu'ahs because of negligence, Allah Azza wa Jal would put seals on your hearts. This is from the virtues of this day. Also from the virtues of this day is that our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, on the day of Jumu'ah, وقفت الملائكة على أبواب المساجد, the angels, on Friday, they stand at the door of the masjid. فَيَكْتُبُونَ الْأَوَّلْ وَالْأَوَّلْ They are writing and recording everyone that enters. The angels, my brothers and sisters, did you rem- imagine when you were walking into this masjid that the angels were there taking attendance? 
They stand at the doors of the masjid and they write those who attend. And then when the imam gets on the mimbar, they close their pages. يَسْتَمِعُونَ الذِّكْرِ they, they, they attend to listen to the reminder. The angels listen to the reminder. So my brothers and sisters who have their phones, and they're looking through their phones and scrolling on their phones, the angels are listening while you are negligent. This reminder is for you. But the angels listen to it out of reverence and respect and honor for this day and for this time. So what is the case with the believers? Do we have honor for it? Do we have reverence for it? Do we have respect for it? This is the reminder for the believers about the virtues of Yom al Jum'ah. And bi'ithnillahi ta'ala in the future, we will also speak about some of the etiquettes of this day and how the believer should conduct himself on this particular day. We ask Allah Azawajal to guide us. We ask Allah Azawajal to forgive us. We ask Allah to increase our hearts in faith and to give us honor and respect and love for the religion of Allah Azawajal. We ask Allah to forgive our sins and to have mercy upon us in this life and the next. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyina Muhammad وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا